Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Top 5 Army. Today, we are going to be talking about how Demi Lovato might be making a comeback in 2020. Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Now let's get right into it. If you don't know who Demi Lovato is, she is an American singer, songwriter, and actress. She actually appeared in a children's television series when she was a kid called Barney and Friends. She also starred in a kids television series called Camp Rock. After starring in multiple television series, she began making music. She was born on August 20, 1992, which makes her 28 years old. So she started in her teen years to create music. She is seen as a mental health advocate in the world because she has suffered from bipolar disorder, anorexia, self-harm, and being bullied. She went to rehab in 2018, and she has also struggled with abusing drugs. On June 21st, 2018, she released a single called Sober, which she revealed that she was six years sober. But on July 24th, 2018, she was actually rushed to a hospital because she had an opioid overdose. Things were not looking good for the singer-songwriter until 2020. She had an interview in 2020 with The Ellen DeGeneres Show, where she told in an interview that she had worsened struggles with bulimia in 2018, which actually contributed to her drug overdose. She said that three months after her bulimia started getting really bad, she eventually overdosed on opioids, which was a very bad thing for her. She said that the reason that things were getting really bad was because she was looking at her bank statements and little things like that that got her very unhappy, which caused her bulimia to get really bad. She said that she asked for help but didn't receive the help needed, which eventually caused her to believe that her being six years sober didn't even matter anymore, which is why she overdosed. Then in January of 2020, during the 2020 Grammys, she delivered her first performance since her accidental overdose in 2018. She performed a song that she wrote called Anyone, which was actually written shortly after her overdose. When she first began to sing the song, she began to cry, so she had to restart the song on stage. The first lyrics read, I tried to talk to my piano, I tried to talk to my guitar, talked to my imagination, confided into alcohol. I feel stupid when I sing, nobody's listening to me. I feel stupid when I pray, so why am I praying anyway? If nobody's listening, anyone, please send me anyone. She actually said after in an interview that she recorded the vocals for anyone four days before the paramedics found her unconscious in her home. She also revealed that the song's lyrics were a cry for help. She said, I even think that I was recording it in a state of mind where I felt like I was okay, but I clearly wasn't. I even listened back to it and I'm like, gosh, I wish I could go back in time and help that version of myself. After the song was recorded, released, and performed, so many of her fans began to support her in a way that she never thought she would get. With the amount of support that re she received after recording this song, we believe that her comeback is going to be absolutely insane in 2020. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.